What is going on you lot? Midi here. I know a lot of you on the channel are a big fan of the elite units, you know. Remember on Puppeteer when he had them elites and I had never liked them and then there was changes and I started using them. And then I actually realised their true potential. So I wanted to try kind of like an elite trap build. As you guys should already know, if you get put onto the book stage with Ball, it's going to be pretty painful. I've not yet mastered his book game. A lot of people are saying that you should be using the basic units, you know, do the attack speed, do light attacks, go absolutely ham on it. Some people just trusting in the elites. And the build that I'm normally set with at the minute is just where you've got the points in the basic units, you've got points in the elite units, and then you've got a few points at the bottom for the traps. Obviously, you know, you could be putting a lot of points into the boss unit if you want to be using it. But I just think for the elites, I want to just put a lot of points into this. Gates of Hell Elite reduces the cooldown period between placing your portals that's going to be your trap portals and you know just throwing the elites down anyway so i do feel like this is important to have on scary demonic dash i have on i'm maxing out their balance bar their damage and their health because all of this stuff is actually needed and especially you know you're playing ball anyway you're going to be maxing out your traps so you're going to have a lot of elites coming out then i have the three most important trap things at the bottom reduce the amount of infernal energy required to set a trap this works with your ability increases the duration of the demon scares fest ability which is obviously you know we can go around and trap everything increase the speed at which traps are set i mean i like using this if i want to like try and catch up with a car if i just want to trap out an area while my ability is on cooldown then you can always have this on and then jump snares i put two points into it just so we can max out the elites and the basics one point into mind Fullness. I mean, instead of putting the three points into here, one point in here, you know, counts for that. That's pretty much the build. We're going to jump into a game, see if it's any good. As always, leave a like on the video. Let's get to a game. All right, lads, let's do it. The ultimate elite slash trap build. Okay, let's see who we're going against. We've got Brock on the team. They've got Cheryl Williams, so she's going to get a little bit of a buff. They've got a Arthur, and then they've got an Amanda. Okay, Arthur's a bit of a weird pick because, you know, apart from Brock... Mm, the rest Build of them ain't really going to be doing melee damage, are they? I feel like Leader Ash probably would have been a little bit better over Arthur on the pick. This. And when you can't find them, rotate to dead end. Because a lot of the time they just appear. Obviously it's a trap build, so we're putting points into our traps. So, Cheryl's Prestige 4, Arthur's Prestige 3, the man is Prestige 2. Now, if Amanda gets her hands on the SMG, I'm wondering how that plays out. How effective that is against these units. Gonna activate my ability here. Get this trap to move. Try and rotate to dead end if we quick enough. I oh, mean, we are very quick. Yeah, we're already here. Boom. Blue. Ability's still got eight seconds on. Yeah, get these two doors. Yeah, just. Oh, it went out. Okay. It's good enough. Have a point my traps. It's very important that you get your traps leveled up before you start trapping anything out. You put a trap down like that, and then you get to level 3 on traps. That's not going to spawn an elite. It's going to spawn originally whatever trap level you was. Yo, so max traps now. I mean, a lot of the time they do end up around dead end. So, let's see. Let's I get unlucky. A lot of RNG aspects instead of the game. Up the cars. All RNG. It'd be interesting to see what happens if I can't find them early. So, let's just check down here really quickly. Find a trap all that out. I mean, being able to just trap a whole entire area out, if you're able to just to plan a little bit ahead of them, it'd be huge. I'm going to go... I'm going to go Demon Powers, you know. But remember, Bowers kind of like a Necron Warlord. Until you start putting points into possession, being able to maintain the units, costs a lot of Infernal Energy. Check the heart quickly. Now it's taking a while to find map piece, which makes me think it's in a big area. Wish trapped out. Go. This does go through the walls as well, which is quite good. Sometimes you don't even have to go in the door. You can just be in a radius like that. All right. I mean, I have no idea. Maybe it's down here. I mean, we're almost ten, and I haven't even found them yet. You reckon they just hide it somewhere? <laughs> like, where would the map piece be that they can't find it? Harry's houses is normally a really awkward area to loot. Let's have a look. And they're maintaining their fear really well, too. Like, you know, not even being able to see them up on the map. Although, the only problem with this is that because there's no sort of early pressure I've put on them, they're going to be absolutely stocked with shemps for sure. So maybe the elites would come more into clutch here if we go into the book stage. I guess it is a tactic if you do get this map. Just play it super stealthy. Watch your fear. If the demon gets unlucky, he ain't going to be able to find you. Okay, they're over here. Okay. Finally. They are making their way though. Try and trap us out quickly. 
get everything in the area very, very quickly. There we go. We've got battle two. Almost misplaced that. There we go. Let's get the elite. Activate the ability. Because Amanda's used her ability there. And we're good. All right. Use the ability when they all come around you like this. Boom. And it's got the SMG. I mean, I don't mind her wasting the ammo here. I'm fine with that. Jump scare here. Get bell. How you doing? Let's get the health train. Oh, they're going for more sort of balance while you see that. That's how you can tell on a team. Oh my god, here we go. Look, they knocked me out, but they're pretty invisible. Grab here. Oh, so you gotta be careful on that grab. One hit, and you are gonna let go. Might be able to get one area in before we die. No. Nope. Here. Four traps down. Demon powers for sure. Go. Again. We've got waste even more supplies trying to take him out. Can you use the AOE there? The ripple. Okay. And that, Amanda must be having so much fun because I know I would with that gun. So good. Yeah, look. <laughs> but you just hear her say amount of ammunition, like you know. Get the attack speed here. I'm gonna get the unit though. Gonna be able to get a jump scare. Oh. Sorry, guys. Can we knock this over, man? Just need anything. I'm gonna roll it. There's another car literally there. Um, let's go demon powers again. I need to get some more possessions on them. See, so the elites are definitely gonna be good at, like, you know, it's like any demon, just draining their colas and their shemps and their ammunition. Kind of the plan, really. Could have done maybe a mass paranoia there, but it's okay. Activate the ability after the combo just to get that speed. And then they do heal off of this ability here. And use that. Fine. We've got my boss. Nice. All their fears really are here. Oh. It's one hell of a ride. What's Amanda's fear looking like? She's maintained her fear really well here. I don't think I'm going to get the jump scare, but I might be see what it is. Hey, guys. Into this one, maybe. Oh! That works. That works. All right. That was almost off cooldown here. We have got a trap ability too, but we're not really in a good area to use it. I need a couple of traps here. Hold on. Yeah, for that then. Guess not. I think so. Oh, boot me out. Might be a good area to trap. Oh, map pieces here. Come on, I'm gonna be quick with this. Come on. Activate ability. Oh, we almost got that. We always got the chest. Okay. Uh, another point, my boss. There's almost that of infernal energy. Remember, this does take infernal energy. Right, man, has dropped weapon here. Yeah, that's fine with me, Amanda. You don't want to pick up your gun. No worries. Go. Invisible. I just want to get that first little stab on them. Extra 100 damage there. That's quite nice. I'm not sure I was going to use another code, I think. Yep. Alright. I would like to use yeah some of the abilities after. I'm going to put points into the elites here. I'm going to go invisible for a sec. So watch the grab. You don't have to do the grab if they're all bundled around you. Oh. 
You see what I mean? Even if you came out of invincibility and done that. Invisible here. That extra little bit of damage. Need a health still here. There we go. Not too much. The balance bar gone. See, you see. Balance bar would be extremely good here. Oh, okay. Amanda just got me there. And drop gun instantly. She ain't messing about, mate. She knows. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Come on, that is a midi video, though, isn't it? <laughs> Got an infernal energy run. We're level 20. They've not started first point. They've took their time. They played it stealthy at the start. Let's get rid of the car quickly. Just delay even more time with them, really. Ah, uh, okay. Kind of failed. Ross is off cooldown. And... He's just come off here, so we might have to re-trap everything again. Go. So that's going to rearm all the traps. Already activated. Good basic. Here comes the speed! Oh! My god. Until the life's still there. And that was enough for me. Oh, I ain't got no infernal injury. Can't re-trap. No worries. Go back for round two. They... They want to stay in there for some reason. They can. Amanda's doing extremely well maintaining her fear, though. I'll give her that. Very smart, though. Didn't do a mass paranoia there. Alright. We're getting a point in our possession there. Let's do a mass paranoia on Cheryl. You can't get knocked out quite quick. I think Amanda's had enough now. She's like, guys, we need to go. <laughs> we need to leave. Another Infernal Energy run. As long as you're stalling time like this, you're guaranteed that win every time. All their fears up to the top. Has Amanda dropped gun, though? No? Not sure. She has. Ain't stupid. But. Still needs to go over there. Only problem about it's just that infernal energy, man. You need so much. I guess putting points into it early on is the strat, really. There we go. Amanda still ain't picked up a weapon here. I think she just did. Look like it. Let's <laughs> And it obviously looks like I activated my ability. We're going to re-trap everything again. Get her in a corner. Just bully her in a corner. Bow. Alright, you don't want your gun. No worries. <laughs> no worries. I'll just give you hell instead. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, where are you going, Amanda? No worries. I'll let you, I'll let you get off. No worries. Let's go. Round two. They're all trying to get out. I'm blocking the door, boy. You got, you got to kill me to get out of here. Have a hell still. Oh, dude, she wanted that chest so bad. Have a cola from Cheryl. Have a click of the fingers. You can always go invincibility and just come out and do that damage. Have a hell still. Lovely. Have a click. So waste all your stuff here. I'm fine with that. Invisible wing. Oh. What if this goes through walls? Let's test. Yes, it does. That is OP. Come on. Yeah. Almost. Almost died there. It's crazy. Might drop a gun there. I mean, look, they've still not started that first point. They're going to have no colas. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're doomed. Absolutely doomed. He's like one hit here. Oh, he's got the knockback. Okay. But that is not going to save you, mate. I like the idea, though. Like, he had the right idea, but no shemps. 
GG. It's just the way it goes. No. Bait ability, so we go super speed it. There we go. Ooh, they just got it. Oh, I dropped that. Nope, she didn't. Oh, she's got no ammo anyway. There we go. The attack speed. Oh, no! Wait. Did you get up? Oh, she did. I mean, I just know straight away this is GG. This a sec. She's got no ammo. Trevor's probably got no colas left. Over, mate. And they're going to walk into about 80 traps up here, which is going to be even more painful for them. Don't seem possible to me. Hey, where's the orbs? Remember this? I used to say this like a year ago. Where, where are the orbs? Got none. Get speed boost. Boom. I mean, at least we trapped this out pretty early. We've almost got bow again. I reckon if I just pull Bow out, it will do. Let's see. I'm gonna get all their fear down here. Okay. I see the strat. Okay. That was embarrassing. How you guys doing? So look, if they're by themselves like this, you could probably get a grab. But you see that one hit was all it took to get out of the break. So there we go. I mean they can actually dodge out, I know. It's very easy to dodge his abilities. Good trap there. That's another cola. See how slow he is, though. Basically, even slower than freaking Necromancer. Evil Ash. Another cola. Mate, how many colas have you got? You drained everything, I think. Everything feels drained at this point. If they can't get any damage off on Bow when that happens, they're... Oh, come on, guys. Trying to do this here? Come on. Can get her? Um, I'm going to get jump scared just for the infernal energy. Activate ability. She's got so many colas, though. There we go. And, uh, Brox. Nice point early, I think. I feel like I've wasted so many colas here. It just keeps going. Let's trouble this, then. Go. No man me. I'm just getting comfortable. I'm just getting comfortable. <laughs> have, have fun with that. I hope, they, I hope they steal them shemps off you. Freaking limited supply of shemps, it seems. Right. Oh, there we go. There is no heaven. See if we can actually get to one of them. No, not in time. Annoyingly. He's gonna go back for that. It's a pretty weird area, but it's okay. Because the higher level we get. You have allowed the mortals right. to locate the Kadari dagger. Bend them before they take it. Just let us go. I can drag her over here, we're laughing. We could definitely just kill all them with her. Come on. Give me a bit of range here. Nice. Oh come on, no! Every time, man, it happens. Oh, come on. The basics, basics, basics. Oops. That's why I need to turn my sensitivity up, man. It always happens. Speed boost. Alright, one point there. We've got no support, so they're all dead, pretty much. They should die. 
Some elites out. This is such a weird spot for a unit sound, don't let me. There we go. Let's go. She should die by this. Oh, yep. Just. Okay. Alright, guys, this is all good. I mean, that was. No. I think so. Rock. Uh, grab. Should kill him. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. It just felt like they had loads of golas. I mean, they did go to each area and loot it out. But damn. You know what I mean, though? They just overextended the loot. I feel like when you go against Bow, you need to put pressure on them. Like, you've got to put pressure on a demon. Out below, rush objectives, go straight to point. Yeah, you're not going to have as many colas, but... I don't know. It's, it's hard, isn't it? Was never in doubt. Hard to counter play. 21k healing in the shoulder. Jesus Christ, boys. 